because Allah has kept something amazing on earth. You know what? Allah says, good. The good things I will give the believers and the disbelievers. And the tests I will test the believers and the disbelievers. Not just one. I will test them all. So when you have something, it does not mean Allah is pleased with you. And when you don't have something, it does not mean Allah is displeased with you. It could be either or. It depends on your personal condition. So let me now explain that to you. Because we are an ummah of victory. For us, every situation is a win. Every situation is a win. You went through a challenge, you won. If it brought you closer to Allah. That's what it is. And you have the whole world at your fingertips. You have lost if it distanced you from Allah. Some people, when they have a problem, they go away from Allah. They go to the clubs. They want to start drinking. Why? I've asked some of the guys, why do you drink? He says, to forget my problems. Oh, wow. For how many minutes, my brother? Well, I can drink. I just drink maybe how many pints and then I forget my problem. And I, I, at least I can go home and just say whatever and go and sleep. My brother, when you get up in the morning, you have a new problem. What is it? You don't have any money. Why? You drank it. It's a new problem. I'm telling you, if you have people who you know, who have this issue that when they have a problem, now it's no longer about drinking. Those were days that were considered relatively clean by the others. But now it's about drugs and intoxicating yourself. You have a problem, they say, hey, come, I take you somewhere. You can forget all your problems. What do you go into? Something that intoxicates you, the drugs and so on. That is a bigger problem than all of the problems you actually had. We tell our children, do whatever. Don't ever you dare touch an intoxicant. That's what we say. Don't ever touch an intoxicant. You mess up your entire life. You don't know 